Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Lynn Gilchrist, Mortgage Specialist with RBC Royal Bank. Uh, today I'm joined with my colleagues, Sylvia Fernandez and Rosita Lee. And together we have about over 50 years experience with RBC, so we know what we're doing. We all start. I think it was three, <laughs> something like that. Uh, we we're very pleased that we're partnering with Empire Communities and Pace Developments. So we are the bank on site, and we're here to help you. So the first question that everybody asks is, is a home ownership for me? And the most common answer, yes. A lot of the uh, common mistakes that people make, the eight most common mistakes, is not knowing your credit rating, not knowing what you can afford, thinking you won't qualify, not getting a pre-approval, not knowing all the down payment choices, not choosing your own mortgage payment schedule, focusing too much on the interest rate, and forgetting about the closing costs. And as Joel stated, you need to build a team. So you need your lawyer, you need your bank, you need the accountant, you need your builder, Sometimes you need a realtor. Sometimes you'll talk to your family and friends, but you do need that support system to help you through. As a mortgage specialist, we're a national network. We have over 1,200 mortgage specialists throughout Canada. We give one-on-one -on -one expert advice. We give mortgage pre-approvals. We customize mortgage solutions. We're flexible, convenient service, where and when it works best for you. So we are mobile throughout GTA. For the pre-approval, there are a few things that will be expected from you. What is a pre-approval, first off? Pre-approval gives you the maximum amount that you can borrow based on your situation. There is no obligation on your part or our part for a pre-approval. So if you get a pre-approval with RBC, not necessarily do you have to continue with RBC. We obviously hope you do, but, and we'll make it difficult for you to leave us, of course. And why do you want a pre-approval? You want to be able to shop with confidence, act quickly, avoid wasting time. So as you can see today, today is your information session. On August the 10th will be the day that you're able to purchase. So if you have your pre-approval in place, you can come in and purchase with confidence. So you can also lock in your interest rate at today's rates or lower if the rates happen to drop. You get a guaranteed rate for the 18 months prior to the completion of the building. And it demonstrates that you're a serious buyer, and it also helps you negotiate with your sellers and their agents. What information will you need for a pre-approval? It's on a case-by-case -case mostly, but for personal information, you'll need a T4 if you're employed and a pay stub, employment information, a list of your assets and liabilities, so basically what do you owe and what do you own, and if you're self-employed, a T1 general, which is what we submit to the government, and business financial statements and notice of assessment. This gives you a true understanding of what you can afford. We also help design mortgages for you. So we'll talk about a few different terminologies. So first off, we talk about the term. A term is the life of the rate. We also talk about the down payment and the maximum and the minimums. So we'll start with the mortgage term. So mortgage term is the length of time during which a specific agreement is in effect in which your rate is in, in effect. So you have a contract for that set time. We go anywhere from six months all the way to 25 years. For mortgage options, there are different rate options available. So you can have a fixed rate, which means you'll have that fixed rate for that entire term for the life of the rate. Or you could have a hybrid rate, which means um, it's like a variable rate with a cap on it, so you know you won't exceed that maximum, but it'll go as low as the rates go. Also, we have variable options. We have a variable closed, which means it's for a fixed term, and there would be penalties if you canceled out early, or a variable open, which means you can pay your mortgage off or do whatever you want at any time. There's no penalties or anything associated with it. For the down payment, you have an option as a purchaser. If you're purchasing for a primary residence or for a family member, as a second home, could be for a child attending university, the minimum down payment required is 5%. If you're purchasing for investment properties, the minimum down payment required for an investment is 25%. For conventional, 
which means any purchase that's made with a, a down payment of 20% or more, the maximum amortization, the life of the mortgage, can go to 30 years. If you're doing less than 20% down payment, which means high ratio, which means has to be insured by one of the, the government subsidiaries, so we have either Canada Mortgage Housing Corporation, Genworth, or Canada Guarantee, the maximum amortizations on those by government law is 25 years. So 20% down payment, 30 year amortization, less than 20% 20, 20 down payment, 25 year amortization maximums. The amortization is the period that the total mortgage will be paid in. So it's the life of the mortgage. Typically an amortization is 25 years or less. You save more interest costs if you take 25 years or less. If you extend it to 30 years, it'll help with your cash flow on a monthly basis, but you're paying more interest costs through the life of the mortgage. While the longer or amortization periods let you lower your regular payments by sp spreading them out over a longer period of time, they will cost you more. Okay. We also have options as far as payment frequencies. So we go from monthly all the way through to weekly. And if you look at the, the um, presentation that we sent out to you, the, the flyer, you'll see on the one page, it lists the savings on the right-hand side of the page. And it shows you on a monthly payment, and this is based on a mortgage of 150,000 at a, a rate of 4.5%. So on a monthly payment, you save no interest costs for the life of the mortgage. But if you accelerate it to either bi-weekly or weekly payments, you can see you're saving over $15,000. The difference between bi-weekly and weekly doesn't make a lot of difference. You're looking at about $170 in this case for the whole life of the mortgage. So what I suggest to clients is use what's easiest for you to schedule. So if you're paid on a bi-weekly period, pay your mortgage on a bi-weekly period. If you're paid weekly, do it weekly. There's not a lot of difference between the two, but a huge difference from there to monthly. Okay, It saves you a lot of money. And our goal at RBC is to either make you money, save you money, or save you time. One of the three. We have options also to pay your mortgage quicker, to pay it down quicker. So the first option is called the double up payments. I always call this Lynn's pick. This is my favorite option out of them all. You can actually pay your mortgage double the payment on a monthly basis, weekly basis, bi-weekly basis, whatever you choose. You can do it as frequently as you want to. So you can do it on monthly, or you can have it ongoing. Uh, you can do it sporadically, so you can do it this month, skip next month, do it the month after, whatever works best for your situation. I always use the example that if somebody's working overtime, they happen to have $500 extra in a month, they can put that right to their principal, it goes to the principal, no interest costs. So it's paying your mortgage down that much quicker. The beautiful part about this is that this also, um, they also track all the double up payments that you've made throughout the life of the mortgage, and you can actually skip those in future if you have ever have an emergency. So an example I use for this is a young couple buys a home, uh, they've done some double up payments, maybe the spouse is now uh, gonna be going on maternity leave, having their first child. The first six weeks they're not getting any income because they're waiting for their mat leave or the uh, unemployment to come in. They can actually skip their mortgage payments without any penalty and not have to worry. So it just gives added security, added protection. The other reason I like the double up payments is you're doing it as you go versus saving the money all year long to make a lump sum payment. So the next one, if we look at the next page, you can see where it says making principal repayments. That's a lump sum payment. So you'll hear people saying, can I, can I do my lump sum payment, my prepayment for the year? You're allowed one prepayment per year and it's based on your anniversary date. So if your purchase date, for example, was September 1st, September 2nd, you came in to some money, you won the 649, which you wouldn't care if you had a penalty or not, but if you, whatever. Um, so you, you come into some money, you'd have to wait till September next year to do another prepayment or you'll be charged a penalty. If you waited till August 31st next year, September 1st, you could do it again. It's always reset on your anniversary date, okay? And you can see with, with on this schedule here, it shows you a mortgage of 25 year amortization and with doing a lump sum payment, so it assumes a consistent interest rate through the amortization and one 2000 prepayment made brought it down to 18.2 years from 25 years. So that's just doing $2,000 a year as a lump sum payment 
and it reduces your mortgage that much faster. As I said before, our goal is to save you money, save you time, or make you money. So we want to make sure we look after you. The other thing I just wanted to point out to you is being on site, is the bank on site, we actually have some rates reserved for you, special rates for this site only. It's for 18 months. So a lot of people will tell me, well, my bank is already doing it. A bank cannot hold a rate for that long. Our bank can hold a rate for four months, 120 days, which doesn't protect you for a longer period of time. So in this case, we're protecting you by giving you a five-year fixed rate at 4.14%. So if the rates started to skyrocket and go to 6 7%, you know you're protected at 4.14. If the rates stay where they're at today or even go lower, you get the best rate in the market. So it's a win-win situation for you, protection for you all the way around. The other thing that you can think about is that in the last four months, when we start looking out, and as you see by my arm, I do work on some rates with my boss, we will get you the best rate we can. So it, there's also, um, and I didn't mention this in the last two sessions, and so you guys are getting a special one. We also have Home Protector, which is also equally as important. So with Home Protector, it's a life and disability insurance on the mortgage, but you actually get it for free while the project is being built. So if something happens to you in between, it actually, the, the property becomes free and clear, you don't owe anything. And that's all for free of cost for having a pre-approval with Royal Bank. Okay? If you have any questions, you want any comments or anything, please ask any one of the three of us. We're all here willing to help you. Also have our numbers on the sheet that we gave you. Our three numbers are on, listed on there. Any questions that you want to give us a call, by all means, go ahead. We're looking forward to working with all of you and hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Thank you.